So Shakur Stevenson got these cats at 135 running scared, as you already know. Isak Cruz is one of them. Isak Cruz is known as the pit bull. But it seems like my man Shakur done put the muzzle on him, man. And kind of tamed that motherfucking wild dog, so to speak. You know what I mean? Told y'all these dudes, man, when it come to this punching power, it don't matter. Dudes is afraid of these dudes that can move around in the ring and got skill in the boxing arena. That's what it's all about, man. These dudes always talking about how they want to fight the best. But you don't really want to fight all the best. You only want to fight some of the best. Only the, fe- only the best that Taylor made for you. That's who you want to fight. What's going to happen is, I bet you take her in the rematch of Isak Cruz. That's when Isak Cruz is going to get knocked the fuck out. You know, I would have rather, you know, take the whooping from Tate. I mean, from uh, Shakur. Because it's likely, you know, he probably wasn't going to get knocked out. But, yo, you, you never know. Shit. Um, Shakur said he seems stronger now. He's at, uh, he moved up in weight. So, if, Sh- if Shakur start getting knockouts, y'all. Because Shakur really nice with the defense and the offense. And, and the people already trying to, uh avoid this brother so suppose when he get to fully play his feet at 135 man his power just start coming through he start getting knockouts and like uh uh-oh he gonna be even more of a fucking threat but for right now man he parked that motherfucking pit bull right in the corner with his muzzle like oh you don't want nothing to me nigga i knew you did they put this muzzle back on you ain't no fucking pit bull Anyway, man, this is your boy, Rebel Life Boxing, man. I'm going to catch y'all later. And I'm out. Peace.